Hey everyone, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today is going to be a video that's a little bit different than usual. Now, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I post two new videos every week, usually about beauty, fashion, hair, makeup, stuff like that. But today, we're gonna have a little bit of a story time based on my um interesting weekend that I just experienced. This past weekend, I went to the Rise Festival. The Rise Festival is something that has been on my bucket list for a while now. Like I see this on Facebook all the time, which is where you get these big paper lanterns and you write on them you, and then you release your lantern into the sky. And there's like a thousand people doing this at once. So it's such a beautiful experience to be just surrounded by all these lights in the sky. So I finally said, you know what? This is the year that I'm gonna go. And I got all of my closest friends together. So it was me, my husband, and six of my closest friends. And I had two of my friends fly in from Florida. One flew in from New York, and we all drove from California, which is about a four and a half hour drive to this festival in Las Vegas, Nevada. Now, if you haven't seen it before, let me show you just a little, just a little bit of how I was expecting my night to look like. Wow, yeah, it's really beautiful, isn't it? Well, this is how it actually was. Okay, but before I get a little ahead of myself, let's backtrack to the beginning of the story and how we got there. So all of my friends hop in the car and we drive to the middle of the desert and we got there with ease, no traffic. We drove right in, we got a parking spot easily and we walked in. Everything was going fantastic. So this has been on my bucket list, making all of my Facebook dreams come true. <laughs> Done today. Yeah, lesson learned. Don't check things off your bucket list until you actually do them. We were so pumped that we created a Rise Festival theme song. Rise, rise, rise. Festival. Go, rise. Rise, rise, rise. Everyone put your phones on airplane mode so you can be with us in a moment. Yeah, there we go. Rise. <laughs> yeah, me and my friends just living our best life. Little did we know what was to come. So when you walk in, there's a bunch of vendors. You can get food, you can get drinks. We got a spot right in the front by the stage. We were just, you know, having a good time, enjoying each other's company. Just really happy to have all of my friends together for this soon to be great bonding experience. Now, when you get your lanterns, you get two lanterns each. You, on the lanterns, you're supposed to write a special type of message. My friends were writing very personal, deep messages to their loved ones that recently passed away this year that maybe they didn't get to say goodbye to. We were writing down our goals for 2019, things we want to get accomplished, and also some negative things that we physically wanted to just let go of. So people are writing some very serious, deep stuff on these lanterns. Like, not just my friends, but literally everyone that goes. This video was taking around 7.02. As you could see, it is dark, so this could be a good time to set off the lanterns. And on the Rise Festival Instagram page, they said due to weather, they might release lanterns early at 7 p.m. So we're getting ready for the 7 p.m. launch just in case we do this early, but nothing was said. They still have the music going, they have the bands playing. No one has said anything about weather up to this point, so we're thinking everything is just fine. Then, 20 minutes, 20 minutes before we're supposed to actually release the lanterns, you know, the whole reason we're there, this guy comes on stage. Hey. 
I'm so sorry. My name's Dan Hill. This is Jeff Garing. We're two of the creators of this event. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Hey, round of applause for Emmett Fan, everyone that's performed tonight. I think the music's been absolutely unbelievable. As some of you may have noticed, we have some lightning uh, striking to the north of us right now. We've been tracking the storm all day, and right now it's starting to drift south. So we may have some of that lightning coming down here as soon as uh, 20, as, as soon as 8 to take 20. So for public safety, unfortunately, we have to call the event. We're so sorry. We're as disappointed as you guys. We want to do this release, but we also want everyone to be safe. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it. Because I'm in shock. Like, I'm in disbelief. I, I'm in denial. I'm like, okay, just kidding, right? A April Fool's is it April... Like, waiting for that punchline, and it never came. He was serious. We literally had to pack up our stuff and go home. I was devastated. Like, I finally, finally did this and got all of my friends. You know how hard it is to get eight friends together? to pay for stuff and show up and call off work and blah, blah, blah. It's not easy. And that's just me and my friends, let alone the other thousands of people that were there with their family and their kids that flew in from other states and who did who knows what. And now, after he said everyone has to go, we see people running, like taking off to the parking lot, trying to get out because they know it's about to be a madhouse. Unfortunately, we have to call the event. Run. At this point, people are going crazy. People are on the microphone for the stage. Like, will the parents of Sarah Smith please meet us at the stage? John, your mom is waiting for you at the stage. People are losing their children, their loved ones. Like, there's just no organization at this point. we're all rushing to the parking lot it's a madhouse and people are being told that they can't take their lantern some of us are trying to take it anyways literally like an hour ago they're like oh make sure you write down your messages your wishes and your dreams and then we literally had to throw away our wishes and dreams in the trash can not letting go of my dreams i ain't throwing my dreams in the trash thousand dollar fine I'll get rid of these dreams. <laughs> so now we're rushing out, getting our lanterns and our dreams, hopes, and aspirations physically grabbed out of our hands. Now we're in the parking lot. Orlando's our leader. Are you? Is somebody? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm still yeah. in mental shock. Alright, we're going to need to go to the right. To the right? To the right. To the right. The parking lot is so crazy that no one can find their car. Any type of marker that we were using from like the lights were gone. Free for all, good luck finding your car. So the winds are picking up and now it's starting to rain. Like if this wasn't dramatic enough, let's add rain. Now it's raining. Sorry, extra dramatic effects. So we're walking around trying to find our car. People are hitting the panic buttons all at the same time. So if we're all panicking people, now there's just a bunch of panic buttons going off and no one has any idea if that's their car or the other 500 cars that are beeping. At one point, I didn't think we were gonna make it. <laughs> I was like, I brought all of my friends out to the desert to die. Fortunately, we eventually found the car. We made it. But we found it. Found the car. Oh my goodness. I feel great. Our One, fuck. two, three. Ah! 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 That's how we feel. And 
what made this whole thing worse is there's no service. Yeah. No yeah. service. That's why I kept coming back. I'm like, wait, I can't go too far. I'm only 100 yards out. There was no easy way to get out of that parking lot. You were just stuck. Now let's talk about the aftermath of this whole Rise fiasco. So tickets were about $109 plus tax and fees and parking. So it comes out to about $130 a person. And that was me buying them the first day available. I'm not gonna get any of that money back. There was a small little check mark at the bottom saying, do you wanna buy weather protection insurance? And we did not. So yes, I guess that's our fault for not buying the insurance. We also understand that the Rise Festival doesn't have a control of the weather. You know, you can't stop the rain or schedule it not to come, but that's not the part where everybody attending is furious about. They claim to have shut down the event due to safety because they wanted our safety, but as they were watching the storm, and never communicated anything about the storm until the cancellation, you literally gave us 20 minutes to run for our lives before the storm hit. But they kept it open long enough for the bands to play, they kept it open long enough for us to spend more money at the bar, at the food trucks, buy more Rise merchandise. So now some of us have $44 long sleeve t-shirts to always remember this special moment. There's actually a full Instagram page that has been created now called Fall of Rise 2018 because we did not rise, we fell. And someone made that because there were so many negative comments on the Rise Festival post that they deleted it. So now we have a whole other Instagram page where people are leaving their comments and experiences and putting their videos and footage of what happened. The biggest lesson I learned from this is not just, you know, to get the weather insurance because it really wasn't about the insurance, it was about like how dangerous it got at the end of the event. One lesson learned for me is that I always say it's not about where you go, it's who you're with. And I'm so glad that I was with the group of friends that I was with because we all stuck together. I think my friends knew how sad I was gonna be. So they kept everything really lighthearted, kept our spirits up so that we all just weren't, you know, devastated. We're here live. How do you feel? How do you feel? Keaton pissed off. Okay. How do you feel? I bought a shirt. Fries. We won't rise at the festival. No more fries. But this isn't a game. This is not a game. Stop joking. Stop. Come get me. So after all this, the Rise Festival has offered everyone that is going a 40% discount for next year's event. <sighs> there is a little part of me that like still wants to go because I just really, really, really wanted to experience it. It's on my life bucket list. But then the other part of me is like, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. What do you guys think I should do? Do you think I should give it another chance and try to make my dreams come true? next year or should I just give up? I don't know, maybe, maybe God is trying to say, Bianca, you are not supposed to experience this Rise Festival because a lantern of fire is gonna fly into your hair, burn off all your curls and ruin your career. Maybe that's it. I don't know, but it's gotta be something. What do you guys think? Comment below. Should I still try to go again next year and use their little 40% discount? Should I just let it go and just not experience it because they really, really, really messed up? I don't know, I'm torn. I'm still hurt, still very, very disappointed. If you were also one of the people at the Rise Festival 2018, please leave a comment down below and let us know your experience. That is everything I have to say about the Rise Festival 2018. If you enjoyed this story time video or can relate because you were there, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post two new videos every week, once on Friday and once on Sunday. So I hope to see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, Bianca Renee, today.